Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are driving into how to install macOS Secure on unsupported Mac devices. If your Mac isn't officially supported, don't worry, I'll guide you through the process step by step. First thing first, let's go over what you will need. An unsupported Mac device, a USB drive with at least 16 GB of storage capacity, a copy of Mac OS GUA. Make sure it is in DMZ or ISO format. So let's dig into the video. Okay, now I'm gonna download Open Core Legacy Patcher software from the github.com. Here is the latest version 2.0.1, click here and scroll down a bit. Now select the second option from the list of assets, open core patcher geui.app.gif. Now it's downloading. It will not take too much time to complete because it's only 629 megabyte file. Download done. Now open the zip file and open the open core legacy patcher. Give your Mac password and click OK and wait a bit. Now click on create macOS installer. Select the first option. Now time to download macOS ISO file from the list. We will download macOS Sequoia 15.0 which is 14.5 GB. That's why it will take too much time to complete. So become Download has been completed now. Insert a USB pen drive and click on create macOS installer and now select the second option use existing installer then click macOS Sequoia and click on your USB drive after that click yes and it will automatically create a bootable USB pen drive for installing macOS. After a while, the process has been done. Now click on build and install open code. Click install disk and select the pen drive. Now reboot your computer and press and hold the option key from the keyboard until the boot menu pop up and select the EFI boot menu from the list then click install macOS Sequoia it will take some time to loading Now select the second option and click on continue. Click agree. Select the OS drive. Now it will automatically install. It will take time to finish. So wait until finish. Don't worry, your computer if automatically restart several times. Now select your country from the drop down. And click on continue. Continue again. 
click not now and select your Wi-Fi network and insert your Wi-Fi password and continue click continue insert your Apple ID or set up later create a computer account Select your time zone Mac OS installation finish Eject the pen drive and go to Open Core Legacy Patcher menu and click on Post Install Root Patch. Click OK. Select your SSD and restart your computer. Now go to setting, go general and click logging items and extension and uncheck these two options give your Mac password. 